Yo, what's going on, y'all? It's your boy, y'all. See the great back again with another money play. We ready to get into this. For this play, make sure if you're using a the team, they have somebody that's a center or in the power forward position that can shoot from deep, but also is a big body and has that brick wall badge because they're going to be setting a screen that opens up this whole play for you. It's very important to have that brick wall badge for this. Make sure you got somebody that can slash to the rim and handle the ball just in case you want to get inside instead of shoot. Um, I like using Luka because this guy's shot is very nice in this game. Not a lot of people use him. I use cards that a lot of people don't use. But of course, I got to have Turkoglu in there as well and Michael Finley because they're kind of dead eyes if I wanted to use this play with them. I usually come up the court with Luka when I call this play, um, and I'll call it like that. But I often, you know, guys, I love Ben Simmons, so I use him even though he can't shoot very well. And I got to have my boy Lonzo Ball. This is a post-up low play, so you're going to be calling it for somebody that has the post-up low play set, but we're not going to use it like a post-up low play set. When I do these plays, I diagnose the whole play, and even though it's called for a specific person, you can use it a different way. This play is called for Larry Johnson, but let's get into it. All right, let's get right into it. The play is called Punch 5 Flare Rip, and it's being called for Larry Johnson, who's the power forward on the left side of the screen right now. Um, when you hear flare, um, a lot of misconception about the word flare, that it's actually a screen. It's actually the action that happens when the screen is set. So it's a back pick, but the flare allows you to pass the ball towards the three-point line going away from the screen. It's gonna open up a three or a drive to the lane. I can explain it more. But let's get into the replay. As you can see, this is why you need that brick wall center. That screen right there opens up that flare action, which Luca just fades off of that screen. And now I am wide open for a shot right here if I want to take that shot. I don't always shoot it, but he has yet to miss a shot in an online game. A lot of people online will off ball with that center and they'll come over and help. And then that's going to leave Marc Gasol wide open for that three if they do that help action that they usually do. Depends on who you're playing. As it goes further, Scotty Pippen is now setting the screen for the person who you called the play for, which was Larry Johnson. Sometimes I throw that up for an alley-oop or dump it into him if they switch so I can get an easy post up. And then right after that, Marcus Gasol is setting another screen for Scotty Pippen at the top or the small forward. That's an easy shot at the top if that screen, you know, catches the opponent. If not, is a ball screen right after that that's going to allow for a switch. You can take advantage of that switch and call a post-up play for Mark after that, or you can drive the lane, throw an alley-oop, or drive the lane and shoot. A lot going on. Let's break down some more options against the computer, then we're going to get into some online gameplay. All right. This is the option that I'm going to show again with Scotty Pippen. Look how wide open. Look how the screen is set that leaves you wide open to be able to drive the lane or shoot if you want. But I chose to use the secondary screen that Marc Gasol set to get Michael Finley open for a shot. Easy basket, all day, baby. Now, of course, you don't always want to shoot three. You want to be able to get into the lane with this play. So sometimes you can use that directional pass and push your player towards the inside or forward towards the basket. As you can see, they switch right there. That's an easy blow by for Scotty. But the switch could have also allowed you to pull it back out and get it to Marc Gasol. Don't forget that you can pull it back out and post up right after that happens. Again, Ben Simmons is in the game, so I'm obviously not going to shoot off of that action if I call it with him. I'm looking to get into the lane, so I directionally pass him towards the basket, and I get inside for a layup. Another way to use the play with different player types on the court. You don't have to call the play or with... You don't have to call the play with the same person each time. Call it with a different person to give a different look and a different feel in the game. Here, I call it with Turkoglu. And y'all know that base 11 shot, he just goes up so quick. That's, you could do that literally all game, but I'm not that kind of player, so I don't you know, use Turkoglu with it all game. But this is one of my favorite options. Y'all know, like I said, I always got to throw some kind of alley-oop flare in there. They chose to stay with it, and he trailed behind. Throw it up for an alley-oop. Do a little razzle-dazzle in your game sometime and get crazy with it. All right, let's jump into some online gameplay. And as you can see, I'm going against somebody with a God Squad. Literally every single player that's nice in this game right now, the Pink Diamonds and the Galaxy Opal, Chris Paul, he had everybody on his bench, Magic Johnson, all those players. But when you play a smart and consistent game, you can still beat these types of teams, even if they're good players. So let's get into some gameplay. 
right off the bat. I was up eight to four. That's when I first called this play. Um, and I'm just trying to see if I can get something open. Luca ends up popping open. Like I said, they help out with their center. Then Marc Gasol is standing out there wide open. If they help with their center, Mark is going to be open the whole time. We get over to the second corner. Now Turkaloo, I'm taking that shot because Turkaloo is just going to go up quick with it. That's bang, bang. Um, I was down by five here, so I called that. Now we're here in the third quarter. Got it with Ben Simmons. I get a switch off, so I'm not going to try to go to it. I run through the full play, and now I get this ball screen that gets me into the lane, draws Blake Griffin over, and then I throw the alley up, up, up to Issel. I'm able to use every option in the play if you're just patient and patient with it. Right here, Scotty Pippen. I'm driving the lane with that, get an easy foul. Easy two points at the free throw line. Take your time, Scotty, hit the shots. But make sure y'all hitting your free throws. Don't be scared to go to the lane if you have people that can get to the lane and get fouled. It's not always about dunking and getting a three every single time. Get into the lane and get fouled. Here, Luca was cold, so I chose to call the play with Michael Finley because I wanted to get a three. Michael Finley, I don't care if you're on him or not, if he gets a little space, I'm shooting it. He's got dead eye, limitless, all that stuff. I'm shooting that shot with Michael Finley. If you're playing in an online game, I mean, uh, play now with regular teams, be more choosy with these shots and make sure you're open. But in my team, y'all know it's a little different. Um, Lonzo Ball gets inside easy off of that. Um, I ran this play about, I think, five times or six times this game out of four quarters. Um, I have other stuff that I run, but he ends up, you know, pausing it and doing this pause thing over and over and then quitting. But anyway, we won that game. Another play for y'all. I'll be back again with another play soon. Hope y'all enjoying the content. Hit me up. Subscribe. Like. Share. Peace.